Okay, folks, today we're shifting gears, no pun intended, due to the, part, the fact that we're still waiting on four-speed parts to come in, the adapter, um, a few things to come in and get that shifter uh, properly installed and up through the, through the uh, pan. So while we're waiting on that, we transitioned over to the heater box assembly. Now this heater box assembly has been totally rebuilt by the owner. Kevin did a great job. He's an Oldsmobile guy. He's done a great job on his Oldsmobiles, and this is his first Mopar. I've never done a heater box assembly. I think he did a great job. So he's got a new heater core in it. He's got uh, or a heater core right here. He's got all the new components, the new blower motor. He's already put the padding in. He's painted it. He did a nice job. So we're going to sit here and go through, and we're going to study the schematics of everything. We know that a lot of this stuff is gonna plug into the dash assembly. But right now, we've got to study how this thing goes in. And what we have before we get started are shop manuals. These are service manuals you can get off the internet. It doesn't, if it, a Camaro, a Mustang, a, a Dart, any of those things, you can get these uh, from year one or off the eBay. They're the service manuals. And they'll have the schematic. This is what the, a lot of the dealerships used. And it'll have pictures and schematics of what you need. Like, here's the heater box assembly. And this one's for a dart. So, and you've got where you show the vent assemblies. So, you take your time. This is another one here. It's got mostly dash components in here. I'm looking for the heater box assembly. I'll find that in a moment. But this is another. This is for the electrical and body assembly manual. This is critical data with schematics and everything you need when you're doing a restoration on a car. I used one of these for the charger when I couldn't believe how well it helped me with finding out what certain things were. We've got our gasket set. We're trying to see where gaskets go and how they go and how they're mounted. Looks like we're getting it figured out. We know we've got to wire up I do know that this is a ground, goes to the body, this goes to the blower motor. This, I believe, is another ground. Yes, for the, yeah, it's a ground, I believe, maybe for the AC system. I'm not sure, but I will find that out. We've got our defrost ducts right here. They'll go into the little vents that will be on the dash, and you'll see that when we put the dash in. So, right now, we're studying everything, and we've also got this is your passenger side, or excuse me, this is your driver's side vent on an A-body. And your old cars had vents under them. And that's what the, that's what, where this cool air came from. This cool air came from these grills right here on your older cars. And <laughs> you go down a road and heck, if it's a nice day like it is today in the 70s, you just would open, and they all kind of do differently. GM, Ford, Chrysler, but you get good old fresh air coming out of these vents on both sides. But here's what's something that's funny, really funny. Leaves and dirt, if you parked one of these cars under a tree, it would accumulate and it would go down into the duct and it would stop these things up and moisture would set in. But I remember when I first got this little Barracuda, I'm going down the road, probably 60, 65, and I opened this thing up and when I did, it blew leaves and dirt in my face, and uh, it was funny. But that happens on a lot of your older cars with the uh, the old vents. I love these. Along with the vent windows they had, it doesn't get any better than having vent windows on a muscle car. You open that vent window up, open the vent window up, you open this up, it's like air conditioning, cool air, at least when it's not hot outside. But uh, anyway, I digress. So. That's where we're going. We're about to get the heater box assembly installed. Again, we're doing a, a Mopar, a Dodge Dart, but this could be for your, your GM, your Ford, Chrysler, AMC. You want to kind of make it just as simple as possible. Once we get this in, then we'll put the dash assembly in. This will be under the dash assembly, obviously. So stay tuned. We're making progress. Okay, folks. So now this is the part before you get your heater box in you've got your insulation padding that goes in and it doesn't tell you unfortunately where each one goes you kind of kind of figure it out 
it's basically going back to grade school and looking at it like a puzzle. So as I started studying this, I was like, well, that's a pretty obvious angle, pretty obvious piece. And then I started looking, ah, look where the dash, look where the firewall makes that try that that angle. And then sure enough, that's where it fits, like a glove. And it's gonna have plastic rivets that go through here that attach it to the firewall. This is your like a uh, sound deadening um, insulation. And then I think, okay, now I got this piece. So obviously where well there's two holes right here and well sure enough it goes and lines up with those holes and lines up perfect with our feature right here and then you look at this l piece i get to look and i'm like oh wow look right here so there it is right there and that's where it goes so take your time just start looking at it like a puzzle and get as many of these pieces in as possible and then you'll see that just it'll start taking place things will go together very just you go slow and then i'm going to show you something on this heater box as i studied it obviously you see where it mounts these these nuts it's got studs that go through where these large flange nuts are at and you can see them kevin's already put the padding right here so we're good right here so in a moment after we put all that padding in, we're going to gently put this in and just take our time with everything. So you can see, it's you just sit there and study it and take your time. So in a little bit, you'll see it go in. Okay, so now if you, as you can see, we've got our, our padding into the holes with the little plastic rivets. And these rivets, what I've found is they don't, they push through like three slots and then that's where they go. When you bolt the heater box, you see there's that one, and then there's that one. The heater box will draw up and help push the rivets closer into the firewall. This is the little hook that goes through. It's gonna go through the vent housing, and there's a nut that's gonna help suck up the, the bottom part of the, the heater housing, the heater box assembly. All of these little studs, I'm gonna show you here in just a moment on the heater box. Come over here to the heater box and I'll show you. Now, these are the studs that's gonna pull it through the firewall. Here, here, I believe there's four of them, here and here. Now, the reason why you get one of these kits is very, this is a brand new, freshly painted car. Kevin did a great job of ordering, ordering the parts required. So when these go through, you're gonna use these as gaskets on the other side, put these on from the other side and then put your nut on. That way you don't crack and ruin your paint. We put the gaskets on, I gotta finish putting the gaskets on this right here, but these are all the little gaskets that you've got to get on. And before you, you just sit here and study this thing. So gas, or basically foam gasket, foam gasket, foam gasket, another foam gasket. Take your time. Now, I do want to ask a question, Mopar specific question to anybody out there running an A body. I cannot for the life of me figure out where this came in the kit it's what kevin said i can for the life of me not figure out where this plugs into it's got a check valve uh i don't know if this may be a 71 or two and up i'm not sure but i cannot figure this one out pretty much got this figured out i believe this comes through the firewall and there's going to be a harness coming from the engine that's going to plug into this this is the vacuum circuit for all of your doors and diaphragms. So we're getting ready to plug this thing in. Again, we've got, we've got, uh, we may need to replace this one. It looks like before we do that, this you can see it's got a split. So Kevin got new rods, or excuse me, new um, cables. So we want to make sure these are good. But so far, so good. Um, so. Stay tuned, we're, we're making, making progress. Okay. All right, let's just slowly. Yeah. Yeah. 
this hook out of the way. I'll pop this hook. Okay, yeah, uh, come up on your side. Okay. Okay. Let down on your side then. All right. There you go. Okay, hold on. We got a hose here in the way. Damn it. Okay. All right, let's back out a little bit. There you go. Now, get one through. Okay. Okay. Now, hold on. Get these wires. Can you push again? Uh, hold on. Hold on. We got the hose uh, because it's, uh, but I gotta get the studs to line up. Uh, okay. I'm still a ways off, so. Can you uh, maybe push your side in a little bit? No. Okay, no, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, 
right, just hold what you got. It's hurting itself. Okay. The studs and the, we're right in the location of the, of the studs and the, Okay, how about you got? Okay, the I'm about to. On the chair, on the chair, on the chair. We're gonna get one of these in. Okay, now, let me see where the other ones are at. Okay, it seems like the it needs to go this way. So I'm gonna get under there and see. I made you to put the knot in. Got it hooked up yet? Okay. That actually looks pretty good. Yeah, but we're not. The other studs have got to come in. They don't oh. line up. They're not in there yet. Well, I've got one, two. Oh no, that's that. Um gasket. So I've got this stud here. Go ahead and get one ready. We got this heater box in and 
for the most part, it was going fine. It was really pretty straightforward. It took two of us, and it was nice to have the windshield out of it so I could come on the other side and line these, all of your, your AC and heater hose points up. But um, anyway, that all went straight forward. Studs came through, we put the gaskets on. All of that's nice and went well. Pretty straightforward. But man, when it got to the other, on this, on this heater box assembly, when it got to the other vent assembly, it goes on the passenger side. I'm gonna tell you, if I can go back and find a guy that engineered, if I can go back and find a guy that engineered that, I'm gonna bust him in the mouth. Golly, what a pain in the rear. So, this, this piece right here has a, a stud with a hook that comes up. You can't see, there's a little bitty pouch where the hook will hook into. You can't hardly see it. And then there's a nut and a washer to come in on the other side. You can't see anything. Everything is blind. And I know it sounds pretty pretty uh, menial, but this thing was a pain in the rear right here. And you're fighting new gaskets. But wow, what a pain. But it's all in now. We've got our heater box assembly in. We are waiting now for the vacuum pod that goes to the heater. This is the heater control valve. So the heater control valve mounts right here. And then this is one that we've got cables for. I'm not sure um, what all, I'm pretty sure this is gonna have something, maybe too long, I don't know, but it's easy to change out now that we got the grommet in. But there's a vacuum pod that goes in there that looks like one of these. <clears throat> it looks like one of these. These are basically your 1960s style, 70s style vacuum pods. And it'll bolt into this heater control valve. And it has a vacuum mechanism, some mechanical mechanism. I, I won't get into all how it works, but slowly but surely, something else, I already spoke about this. This is the first early model production run of a 1970. Just like a lot of other cars, when we've got the service manuals out, they're referencing the second half of production because that moves forward into the later models, the 71s and 72s. But there are some deviations because this still shares some things with the earlier 69 and earlier A-body cars. But heater box is in now. It took us a little longer than I'd like to have taken it, but you know we're starting from scratch. All the sound, the, the sound deadeners in, got all that to go. So now what's next is um, maybe next week we'll be putting the dash in, unless we're putting the shifter in or both. So my, my rear end is whooped. I'm done, I smell horrible. I'm gonna go take a shower and I hope everybody has a good weekend.